Hello Internet Allies! So, one thing I really, really, really want to, like, achieve this year... Hang on. Hello Internet Allies! So, something I've wanted to achieve for a really, really, really long time now, pretty much this entire decade, has been to basically finally find my soulmate. And, you know, to love and be loved in return, etc, etc, you know, all that fairy tale stuff, really, you know. Just try and find somebody. You know, I've been single pretty much my entire life. I feel like, you know, I've waited so, so, so long for that perfect moment. And, you know, I just worry, you know, is it ever going to happen? And today I wanted to make this video because, like, I'm, I'm autistic. I have Asperger's syndrome. I'm part of the autistic spectrum. And I feel like, you know, finding love can be a huge challenge for somebody on the spectrum and I kind of wanted to talk about some of the challenges I personally face like finding love really to be honest. I'm making this video not only just to raise autism awareness but also you know maybe to kind of like help myself and help other people understand and you know who knows maybe somebody out there could who watches this could like maybe help me find true love really or find my soulmate really. Anyway, here we go. So as I've previously mentioned, I have Asperger's Syndrome, which can have a massive impact on my social skills and my social understanding. So this could mean that I'm completely oblivious if somebody, you know, was romantically interested in me unless they had literally said something to me. But I kind of feel like nobody's really that upfront. And, you know, I've never really known anybody be romantically interested in me, which is kind of a shame, really, to be honest. Um, you know, and you know, that's not really great for my confidence really. And likewise, I don't really feel like I'd be comfortable asking somebody out unless I was like 99% certain they'd say yes. Like, because I feel like I do have a fear of failure, fear of rejection, which has held me back quite a lot over the years with, you know, making and maintaining new friendships and relationships, to be honest. And yeah, it sucks. I do feel, however, it can go the other way. I feel like some people on the spectrum might be a bit too upfront with like how they're feeling and stuff like that, like, and are not really aware of those kind of like social boundaries or whatever, which again can hold people back from making and maintaining new friendships and relationships, which which is a shame. I'd like to think that people on the spectrum are pretty compassionate and loyal and whatnot, and I'd like to think I'm one of those people too. Another thing I find really difficult about relationships, especially with being a male on the spectrum, is the fact that, like, there seems to be some kind of, like, unwritten rule in society where, like, it's expected for men to make the first move in relationships. And I find making the first move, like, generally in conversations really, really difficult. It takes up quite a lot of energy and quite a lot of courage on my part to do that. And... I just feel like it is a shame because I really don't think, you know, if two people do get on and are interested in each other, I don't really feel like it should really matter who makes the first move. I know that there's like a lot of people out there that are my age, you know, 24, 25, that are already in relationships and I'm really happy for those people as well. But I just want to be one of those people as well, to be honest, you know, and I feel like as, as I get older, like, I think there's, like, more pressure for me to find somebody and, you know, that really sucks and it's really annoying. Really wish there wasn't really that pressure, really wish I could just, like, try and find somebody at my own pace without feeling like everybody else is taken and stuff like that. And, you know, I just kind of want to find somebody that makes me, you know, really, really happy and stuff like that. You know, that gives me the happiness I really wish I had and the happiness I feel like I deserve, really. You know, like the um, song This Is Me says. <laughs> I don't know that I deserve your love. There's nothing I'm not worthy of. <laughs> See, if you date me, you get more cringy stuff like that. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I think, like, if I did try online dating, that would probably be my, like, sort of profile. That line from that song. However... Like, there are a few people that probably would be like, hey Rob, why don't you try online dating? And I feel like, you know, sometimes I've been tempted to go down that road, but at the same time, like, you know, I hear a lot of stories about, you know, people getting stood up on dates or whatever, or, 
and you know you hear about quite a lot of dodgy stories as well with online dating as well and you know there's that whole like strange danger thing for me which I really worry about with online dating I feel like I'd rather like get to know somebody before like I become romantically involved with them I think really to be honest so so there is that worry and concern but then again it's like how else do I meet other people I don't know how I'd meet other people and stuff like that that I could be romantically involved with I yeah it's just it's just a mystery to me really to be honest this whole dating stuff <laughs> as you can probably tell I also feel like if I was going out with somebody I feel like I'd need a lot of support from them I mean obviously support in relationship goes both ways you know I feel like you know both people in a relationship need to put in as much effort as each other but you know I feel like you know I, I have quite a lot of mental difficulties and sometimes that can be quite a lot to put up with so yeah I feel like you know I just need somebody that's like really strong and supportive really and stuff like that like you know and you know I would just really appreciate it if I could find somebody like that okay so speaking about previous experiences with like you know having romantic feelings for people you know I've never really like opened up to really anybody about whether or not I have romantic feelings for specific people because you know again it's that like fear of failure fear of rejection and also you know what will the, this other person think you know what if this other person is taken sometimes you know I might have romantic feelings for people you know before knowing that they're already taken and you know I'm not really that kind of person that would try and break somebody up so that I could be with that person you know I'm not a home wrecker you know I just need to find somebody who's basically available, you know, really supportive, really caring, really compassionate, etc, etc. I, I also worry, you know, I don't really want to like date people that like, you know, my friends and family don't approve of either. You know, I, that's not someone else I worry about. Like, you know, I do worry about being judged as well, you know, for, you know, maybe having romantic feelings with certain people. And, you know, that can sometimes be really difficult to like maybe like open up about my feelings and stuff like that. So yeah, that's it for my autism and love video. Um, that was a lot to take in and a lot to get through. It was quite difficult for me to talk about, but anyway, I hope this helps some people out there. I hope this helps me in some way, maybe in the near future, I really hope so. Uh, hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you did, give it a like. Hope you found it useful. If you did, I'd give it a like. Um, yeah, hope you're having a wonderful day. Till next time, keep smiling guys. Bye.